Okay, I got another quick video for you. This is about tradition. And I want to break it down to you real quick about the traditions. Because God, who we serve, who we seek in the Holy Bible, who, who we know about, who God, who gave his only begotten son for us, so we can live, who died on the cross, Jesus Christ. In John 3, 16, everybody knows that. Even atheists and those that don't seek the word God know about John 3, 16. That's the most easiest verse to memorize and to know. So, again. Now, I just want to break it down to you real quick because I want y'all to stop buying into the traditions. God is not in a box. And this is what the world does. Because, see, tradition is things that's designed as rituals. Right? And... This is what they do. See, society, the world wants you to feel that you have to do certain things in order for those things to manifest. And as in to uh, uh, understanding this how it rotates, this how it works. See, and everybody feels that they have to participate in it. But I'm going to tell you something. God is not of tradition. Christians is not of traditions. We don't we we don't do traditional things. Now other now other now re religions they do rituals. They do traditions. When they get the water and the little beads with the with the, with the cross on it and you know all this stuff that they do or they may sit there and let steam come up from a rock bar <laughs> whatever the case may be it's a tradition. Holidays are tradition. Halloween, tradition. So the demons can play to come out. And mostly everybody feel that just because it's October, it's Halloween. Just because Christmas, it's Christmas. Just because Easter, oh, we got the high eggs. It's not, it's not a tradition, but I'm going to tell you something. When Jesus' birthday rolled around, it's supposed to be a celebration just like your birthday rolled around. Just when, uh, uh, just like just like the resurrection. But yet, they want to place it with an with a, a Easter uh, bunny and egg. Valentine, you got to, uh, once a year, you got to show somebody you love them. You ain't, buy it. Go out and buy your girl some chocolates in a card and write her a love letter. You should do it at least twice out of a week or every day. Even for your mother. Vice versa. If you love somebody, you just show them. That's a traditional way to tell your mother happy Mother's Day and buy her some cards and, and a flower on Mother's Day. That's tradition. Mother's Day should be every day. They should be honored every day. Just sometimes just tell your mother, I just want to let you know I, I love you. This is your day today, Mom. I'm going to take care. I'm going to rub your feet. Everything is tradition because it's about money. Even sometime in your marriage. Because this is thing. Watch this. Let's see, watch this. You don't have to buy a ten thousand or fifteen thousand dollar ring to show that this person belongs to me. When two becomes one, when you're vowing unto the Lord, then you're married. See, the reason why they want you to go through all this paperwork and to do all these things because, see, when it comes time to divorce, that's when money comes into play. It's not supposed to even be divorced. It's supposed to be to death do us part. That's why I say to death do us part. That's why you vow unto the Lord, saying that I take this person, I'm going to be with this person, I love this person, this is my wife. When two become one, we two, we, so I'm vowing in front of you, Lord, that this is the person that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. You are my wife. Got to stop believing in tradition. Just like, they, uh, and, I, and a lot of people say, oh, don't shack up, don't shack up. I'm going to tell you something. God does what he want to do. For an example, so you can be living with this person, and, this, and you know, y'all both toxic. And all of a sudden, the Lord, you know, you, you're tired, the Lord touches you, you get saved. Remember, he saved you while you were still in the household with the toxic person. Ah, see, he could have saved you when you left, but he still saved you when you were still there. 
So that means you say, so that means you still got to live with this toxic person or you still got to live with these toxic people, whatever the case may be. You're still there. So that means that you're still, so that means you're shacking up this person. It means that now that you are saved, watch it, your mind is renewed. So therefore, okay, maybe if you save and she's not or vice versa, that now, you know, you can't sleep with her. And, and, and until you know y'all y'all make this a uh, uh, final adjustment, or y'all come on the same accord, or you lead her into the word as you got led. Because sometimes we are hallelujah. I feel like sometimes the Lord cleans you up so you can be an example to the next person. So therefore, you can work on that person as He worked on you. So now you're spreading the gospel to the next person, and then now you're trying to convert them into seeking Christ with you. And then now the relationship can flow. You see, and then now y'all can make that agreement to come on to, to two to become one. Y'all make the vow to God, and then y'all become married and love on each other. Uh, uh, and to death do you part. Hallelujah. See what I'm saying? Hmm. Because God is not of tradition. He does what he wants to do. That's why he used certain people that he does. That's just like these other uh, 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 see, these are traditions where you know, like even Mormons, you, you can't you can't be a Mormon. You have to be accepted. It's like an application. Some of these religions, it's an application. You have to go through through, through do uh, uh, steps before you can be accepted or before you can even be amongst them. It's a traditional type of thing. Just like a Thanksgiving, it's traditional. You got to have a turkey. You got to have the the, the stuffing. The, no. Nah. You can just have you can just have a, a corny inside a burrito or you can just have a, a piece of chicken or you can just have a salad. Hallelujah. It don't have to be no turkey. That's traditional. Because everybody want to put God in this box. But God is not in the box. Everything else is. Because he's not of tradition. We already broke the tradition when we was in our sins. Because we was conditioned by our sins. Hallelujah. We was conditioned by our sins. It was, it, we, we, it was a tradition to us because we kept doing it. We kept doing it. We kept falling into the things that we had to do. That's why someone kept smoking. Someone kept robbing. Someone kept fornicating. You know, that was just something that we 